Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are checking out this new mobile game, Durango. I am actually really excited about this game. Uh, a couple of people did recommend it to me, and I decided to check it out, and I have been pretty hooked on it. Um, so I figured we would do a little bit of an episode on it, just to kind of show you guys what it's about. Um, this is the character creation screen. So essentially, you can choose characters that have certain uh, attributes already. This person has pretty good defense starting off. This person has construction. Um, this person has a gathering ability. All right, this person looks, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so this person is a soldier, so they start off with a pretty good melee already, and I think I'm gonna choose that. Um, just like randomly assign. I think we get to create a character specifically later on, but um, we'll just kind of randomly pick one for now. I like the afro. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, I like the melee just because it gives you a bit of a boost early on in the game, so I think that'll be pretty good. Unfortunately, we are going to have to go through this tutorial here. All right. All the way over this way. Running through the train, headed towards the dining car, and someone needs help finding a necklace. All right, let's go ahead and search nearby. Awesome. Cool. Well, that was pretty easy. That's it. Thank you. She always told me that when people help you, you should help them back. Oh, I know. How about that? Okay, there we go. Uh, we got an encyclopedia about dinosaurs. Interesting. I do wonder if that's actually going to be useful later. Probably not. You never know. Oh man, this is a long train. There we go. This looks like a dining car. Okay, let's eat a hamburger. And let's drink some coffee. I like coffee. Coffee's the best. Hey there, what can I get for you? Okay. Oh. Oh, I, I got her a free ticket so she could go see her. So is the book any good? Oh my gosh, they talk a lot. <laughs> I, they were still around. I hate uh, listening to the dialogue on these games, so I do apologize if people really wanted to listen to that, but I'm kind of eager to get to the actual gameplay for the game, not just the intro scene. Alright, looks like the train is crashing. Hey, Potentially. Really sorry to ask. I can't just leave all these... All right, and we're going to go check on the kid that we just helped. Let's see if we can find her here. Well, this looks bad. This looks really bad. Okay. Uh, the doll. Car's empty. Interesting. There's like bits of forest here. All right. All right, well, that was vicious. Um, okay. I have a feeling we're gonna try to get that axe. <laughs> yep, okay, let's go and get this axe. I don't know why we're sneaking here. Seems a little weird. Go ahead and get that. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, guys, um, Durango's kind of a cool game. It is dinosaur-themed. It's much more, um, of a classic, like mobile style game than I would say something like Ark is. Um, it does have very nice graphics. It looks really cool. Uh, the movement's actually pretty good on it so far. I've not had too much trouble. There is kind of this turn style combat system. All right. Teaches you how to use combat. Let's do this prep there. Okay. Now we'll use an attack action. Cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and take it on. There we go. It's already hurt. I love it. <laughs> ah, that's not good. <laughs> oh gosh. It looks like an angry Rex. I do wonder how it's keeping up with the train, honestly. Uh, just about eight me there. Oh, cool. I'm exposed. That's good. And snap. 
cool. Excellent. All right, so, so far so interesting. All right. I will say, this is a really nice, beautiful intro scene here. It's very well done. Very nice. All right. Okay, do I click through this, or is it gonna go on? Okay, it looks like it's just showing previews of all of the different things that you can do. Crafting tents, um, weaving, lots of dinosaurs. And yes, it looks like you would be taming them as well. Awesome. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Excellent. Alright, so definitely a crafting style game it looks like. Um, Lots of dinos that you can ride on. It looks like you can trap Rexes, although it doesn't show necessarily that you can ride them, which might be interesting. Excellent. Okay, now we can actually create our character. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and choose um, a face here. I don't know, I kind of like that one. Um, let's go with appearance. All right, time to like actually get a different hairstyle here. I do like ponytails. Ponytails are pretty solid, in my opinion. Alright, and hair color. Yeah, that red's good. Um, skin's fine. Outfit. Yeah, I like that red. Okay, um, let's go with, like, black. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Cool. Eye color should be greenish. Lip color doesn't super matter. Something that's not very obnoxious. They're all kind of obnoxious. We'll just go with the palest one. Okay. And we are going to be Iguana, of course, as always. Let's do it. Okay. The loading screen does take quite a while. I will say that. But now we finally get this screen. Uncharted Island Year Unknown. I think it's still loading because it's kind of stuck here. All right, there we go. Oh, a dog. <laughs> All right, looks like there's going to be more dialogue and more cutscenes to work through here. Good girl, Pia. All right, we're going to get first aid. Cool. There we go. All right, cool. One step at a time. That worked. We're alive. That's good. Uh, looks like we have some health, well, I can at some least energy. Where you are. Welcome to Durango, and whom I know okay. this is hard to heat. So, you must be hungry. Okay. <laughs> okay. So cool. So now we're going through the tutorial. Let's go ahead and check this out. Looks like we need to eat some food. Awesome. Okay, let's cover the basics. All right. That's why we're um, building a raft ugh, on the north. Yep. Tutorials, man. So, just follow Pia. She knows the way. Oh, I'm okay. Cool. I do like backstory, but tutorials can get um, a little tedious, and I kind of do like to rush through them. So I do apologize to everyone who does enjoy them. All right. So basically, we need to follow this dog to the beach. Which we already figured out. Ooh, a flower. I cannot collect that. Cool. It's all gray. Oh, you should look for something to eat along the way. Alright. 
think I saw some date palms. Cool. Let's go ahead and collect some fruit. We'll just collect all of it. Might as well get as much food as we possibly can. Gimme. You're gonna see a creek and uh Alright. Okay, that might have been a few too many. <laughs> On the other hand, we're also level 3 now. That's pretty awesome, so that's helpful. Um, now we can actually come to the fresh water. Looks like we can drink it. There's a few options here. I don't know if I would actually trust drinking creek water, but um, I guess they do in ancient times. Maybe the bacteria wasn't as strong or something. Alright, there we go. We've been washed. Let's follow the dog a little more. It's a cute dog. I hope we get a dog at some point, because I would really love to have a dog on this game. Come on. There we go. Also, it would be really sad if there was like only one dog in the world of Durango, and it was this dog. It was the only dog that got sucked into the warp. That would actually make me super sad. Oh! Oh, that's like a Bronto. Cool! Oh, it's a Brachiosaurus. Excuse me. Okay. Yep, let's keep going. I don't think anything will be vicious in this part of the tutorial, since it's still basic. Alright, our way is blocked by thorns. Okay, I got you this box. Lucky for you, you're easy to make. Alright, we need... pebbles. Alright, we'll grab a few of those. Um, apparently we need them to make knives. It's always good to have a couple of extra knives, in my opinion. Touch the magnifying glass. Oh, cool. Okay, it hides names. Awesome. That's actually really useful. Alright, now we can come in here. Craft, build, weapon, stone blade, craft. Looks like then we have to choose materials and then hit craft. Okay. This is kind of a funky UI, but it's not too bad. It's a little bit clunky on the crafting, but it definitely could be worse for sure. All right. Major, you must be pretty tired up. Let's go ahead and go up this way. Apparently we need to rest by a bonfire. So probably what that means is that there's, yep. Okay, yeah, fatigue. Cool. So there's an energy thing. Um, so this is definitely a mobile game because there are limits to what you can do, apparently, between resting. So at some point, if you use up all your energy, you either have to, like, get new items to keep playing or... Um, take some time off the game. That's actually like one thing I don't love about mobile games is that they make you, um, they kind of make you like take time off of the game unless you want to pay more to keep playing and that kind of, that definitely isn't something that I love. Um, so timed games sometimes can freak me out but hopefully this one is pretty good. She made me smile. All right, but at least we do have emoticons. So that's always good. All right, let's keep going. Through the bushes. Oh my gosh. This is an unnecessarily long path, in my opinion. Ah! Okay, creatures. Cool. All right, we're at the beach. Just keep following that dog. All right, we've got it. And... Hey, where are you? Oh, cool. We made it. <laughs> okay, we need to build a raft. Let's go and talk to this person again. So, how'd you like a new home? We're leaving this island as soon as the raft is Okay, finished. we need to lend a hand. Cool. So, what do we actually need? Okay, four logs and six stocks. Short on logs and reeds. reeds. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and head back here and see what we can do. Logs and stocks. Interesting. Okay, looks like there's some trees over here. Okay, we need an axe. Awesome. Alright, well that was convenient. Uh, let's go ahead and craft that. We need a blade. Oh, we need a strap and a stick. Okay branch. That's a stick, right? I'll just grab a few of those. 
Um, leaf. I don't think a leaf is a stock, but maybe. We'll grab a few of those. Okay, what else do we have? Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. Awesome. So these stocks, these are what we these are what we need to actually like hold the axe together. Awesome. Again, always good to grab a few extras, especially at these low levels. It's going to help you out to level up faster now, and then we'll start off a little bit better. Always happy to do that. Okay, we need a blade, a stock, and a stick. Seems like it would be kind of a sad axe, but that's okay. At least it'll work. Um, Alright, and then we do need logs, so let's go ahead and chop... As many of these as we can get. I think we needed like four logs and six stocks. How many is that? Okay. Um, right, there's the bag. Okay, so we have plenty of those and looks like we have plenty of reed stocks. Cool. Alright, so I think we're doing really well so far. We've got all the materials we need for the raft, which means we should be able to head on to um, hopefully the actual like gameplay part of this once we get this all finished up. Hopefully that raft is actually going to take us somewhere that we can uh, start crafting things of our own and start taming some creatures. That would be awesome. Yeah, this is kind of a funky crafting menu. Like, I don't hate it, but it's definitely really interesting to see how it goes. Um... All right, there's like a list of things that it can be used to craft. That's kind of cool. Okay, so there's a lot of information here. It's just kind of, um, kind of a lot. Let's go ahead and place these materials. Bad for your first day. Stay focused. Aye, aye, Captain. Cool. Okay, and then we have an actual like loading screen. Very odd. It's super blurry. It looks cool, though. I actually really like the way that they, like, did the raindrops on it. That's super neat. Okay, and we're loading. Cool. Alright, we're on Safe House Island now. Alright, looks like there's still more uh, tutorial stuff to go through here, but it looks like we're going to get a little bit more into the actual okay. gameplay stuff instead of just, like, mechanics. Oh, and you. Still listening? Okay. Um, said something about tamed islands. I probably should ask what that is. Let's go ahead and do that. Tamed islands are more stable than most. They're a great place okay. to visit. Just head over to the camp. This cool, so a tamed island is probably where we're gonna, we're gonna live at some point here. Um, oh, we need to equip a weapon. That's probably a good idea. There we go. Now we have an axe. It's useful. Where are we? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have a bonfire, like... Oh. Okay, so we can cook here at this bonfire if we had any food. That's useful. Um, Alright, looks like this is going to be like the quest center. And this is the drop-off point. Okay, so this is where we take quest items. Cool. So pretty basic setup. Um, definitely quests, uh, organization, relationships. So definitely like reputation gains and things like that. Man, this is kind of a thick game actually. There's like a lot of moving pieces in it. Okay, let's go ahead and start that mission. All right, so apparently we have to follow her little face on the screen. All right, get across the river here. Oh, compies. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, so there's a crater. I wonder what these are. These must be like warp spots, I would guess, like where the, the warp was coming into the actual train. I'm not really sure what those are useful for, but it looks like um, looks like they're going to be important since we have to discover them. 
Alright, looks like we got another crater over here. There we go. I don't necessarily want to attack a compy. Oh, okay, I do. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and attack this one. Uh, oh, we can kick it. Nice. Alright, we need a work knife. I guess that just means another, like, little stone blade that we can use. Like that? Okay, yes. Alright, so you have to, like, re-click on the creature to do that, but, um, it does work. Awesome. Okay, and then we have this map here in the upper right-hand corner. So, if we zoom in a little bit, this is where we're at, I think think the green dots must be like quest objectives or um yeah they're definitely the compies so the dots are definitely things that are important to pay attention to or we'll just kick it there we go harvest up the meat congrats on your first kill and good job it's not easy, all right but you have to get Why don't you i feel a little bad i love compies so that kind of makes me sad Okay, we need to return to camp, so we click here. Oh, cool. Awesome. All right, so we can warp. That's actually super neat. Um, that's going to make it really easy to get around and navigate, because then you only have to discover a location, like, once, and then you can just warp back to camp every time you get your stuff. So that is actually pretty useful. Who's this guy? Okay. Cool, he's our new teacher. Awesome. <laughs> cool, so he's going to teach us about skills. Uh, that's probably good. Body tackle. Alright, let's learn that. Ooh. Actually, we have lots of... Um, we have lots of skills we can learn. Okay. Hold on, I want to look at this for a second. So... It looks like there are a lot of skills in just this one tree, and then it does also look like... Let's look at this one. Okay, yeah, there's lots of skill trees that we're going to have to navigate through. Um, how many points? I think the yellow ones are where we have stuff we can actually level up. Okay, and then they do cost skill points to level up. We currently have 53 out of 57 skill points. So it does look like we're going to have to be pretty careful about how we spend those skill points at some point. Um, which, of course, that makes sense. It does kind of suck because that means we'll have to be, like, specializing in one or more of these areas. Which does make me a little bit sad because I like to learn everything in a game. But it also does uh, make a lot of sense that we would be doing that. Okay, we have to come back here. Awesome. Okay, we're hunting raptors. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Let's hunt raptors. Where? Okay, we gotta go this way. I'm like going the wrong way. Timid raptor. Why is a raptor timid? I feel like a raptor would never be timid. Like, in all of everything I know about creatures, raptors are never timid. Yeah, that's it. Come here. Ouch. All right, that hurt. All right, well, we tried to body slam it. I don't know if it worked all that well. There we go. Can we kick it? Oh, we kicked it while it's down. It worked. Ooh, a leg bone. That's got to be useful. Let's get all that raptor meat. It's going to be good food later, I have a feeling. Um, oh, we never went to the actual... We never went to the actual site. Okay, there we go. Another crater thing. Interesting. Oh, it decreases fatigue. Awesome. That's actually really cool. Um, alright. And then we already hunted one raptor, so now we can get the other one. They're so cute. I actually feel kind of bad. Oops, I should have dodged that. Dang it. I mistimed it. 
Um, okay, when they turn yellow, they're about to attack, so that's when we should use the dodge if we can. Too late. I already killed him. I'm gonna grab his leg bones, though, because those are probably going to be really useful. Bones usually a pretty good material in these games. Alright, level 9. Not bad, not bad. Alright, and then we deliver it to the drop-off point. So let's come back over here. Okay, this big yellow thing. Cool. And we just drop one of those. Perfect. Alright, let's go through this. She wants to show us one more thing north of camp. Oh. Oh, there's like... It's like a house. That's cool. What is my character doing? Hold on, hold on. Am I like a zombie or sick or something? I keep like wiping my mouth. What is wrong with me? Okay, that's very disturbing. Hopefully we get better. Okay. She wants us to see the balloon. Pretty impressive. But it was worth every tea stone. Anyway. Okay. How would I craft an item with the heated attribute? Obviously we would cook it with fire. Yeah, it's fire. I'll show you how at the community. Okay. <laughs> we can use cook skewers using the camp's bonfire. That seems pretty obvious. Okay, I need to go actually back to the communication center and accept the cooking mission. I see how this is gonna work. So there's like a central point um, called the communication center where you're gonna get all of your quests. Pretty standard. Looks like you'll be able to get some like experience and in-game currency with that though, so probably a good idea to do these quests. Um, which is fine, should be pretty easy to do. All right, what do we actually need to cook? Go to this bonfire thing and craft it. Cooking a skewer. Oh, okay, it tells you. Uh, materials and tools. Awesome. Well, we have lots of food. Let's go ahead and cook this compy meat. And then a tool. Um, I guess we'll cook it on a bone, because that makes sense, right? Alright. Well, that was actually really easy, so let's just make another one. Um, can we roast a date? Actually, that would be kind of fun. A date skewer. <laughs> awesome. And then we drop them off at the drop-off point. Alright, so actually, these... Salutations, pioneer. These aren't too bad in terms of, like, controls for a game. <laughs> um... Yeah, they're not too bad. I actually am like really enjoying this so far, even though we're still on the tutorial and we're pretty much like half an hour in. Um, we've just made it to level 10. That's really not too bad. And honestly, the game is kind of kind of well thought out in terms of movement. Um, it is a little bit busy on the screen. I think I would prefer a less busy UI, but there are lots of like little helpful things on the screen to kind of point you around. Um, all sorts of things like that. And the tutorial is very extensive, which is kind of cool. It's definitely giving you a lot of hints on like where to go and uh, how to do things, which is definitely kind of nice. Can we actually like go find a boulder? Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> that definitely looks like a bug there. Um, all right, so we found our little thing. The raptors are looking at me, but ignoring me. That's cool. What's this? Boulder? Okay. I think this is what we want. Can I not get that? What? What is happening? Looks like we're having a bit of a bug here. There we go. Alright, so it looks like there are still some bugs. That's not um, unsurprising considering that this is a pretty new game. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely going to be some things that need worked out, but like the the bugs are like super minor. It looks like so far, um, one graphical glitch and like one issue with gathering, and then a little bit of issue with um, if you craft something, you have to basically close out of a menu and come back into it for it to register that you made a change in like what tools you had. But overall, not bad. Uh, cool, we got corn seeds. 
I am looking forward to becoming a farmer. I do love farming on these types of games. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. He is a little creepy. Oh man. All right. So there's still so many more things. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to do some tailoring and stuff. But this episode is getting pretty long here, guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and end it off there, and we will pick up again in the next episode. Um, hopefully we'll get to the point where we can actually like tame some dinos, because that is, of course, my favorite part about any game. So yeah, guys, I think that that's actually going to do it for this episode. So if you did find yourself enjoying it at any point, please do remember to hit that like button, because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.